Just as their wedding represents the beginning of Caitlin and Ben's marriage, being wed on New Year's Eve represents the beginning of the new year ahead for all who Caitlin and Ben hold dear. On this evening, before God, we reflect on the past year and make resolutions for the year to come. Caitlin and Ben are most excited to be surrounded by their amazing friends and family. This is one of the few times all of their loved ones are in the same space. Sloney, over seven years ago, I fell in love with you. Sorry. Cryer's my middle name, I'm sorry. <laughs> Traveling across Ireland, on that tour bus, we flirted, we laughed, and we ignored just about everything our guide pointed out of the window. We were locked into one another. We were falling in love. I'll never forget the feeling I had with you that day. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> because it stayed with me every day since. I promise to maintain that feeling of love and adventure for the rest of our lives together. To ensure this, I promise to make you laugh every day no matter how easy that is to do. <laughs> I promise to travel the world with you and to squeeze every ounce we possibly can out of life. Ben, the love of my life, I can't believe the day is finally here where I get to officially call you my husband. As we celebrate the end of a decade, we complete chapter one of our love story, the best chapter of my life. These last seven years have been nothing but laughs and adventures, and I can't wait to continue on life's journey with my best friend. So with that, Ben, I promise to be loyal, faithful, and respectful and honest. I promise to love you with all my heart for all of our days on this earth. many great qualities, Ben and Caitlin, Sloney pants, and experience in life, that is probably what determined their fate in finding each other as soulmates. Both of them managed to sucker their parents into sending them to Italy for a semester abroad to delve deep into European history, <laughs> culture, and language, and food and wine, and fun, and yes, probably a healthy padding of their GPAs. We thought at the time, well, there's also a chance that he could find the love of his life, so what the heck. Their relationship continued to blossom throughout the rest of their time abroad. Ben shared that courting a beautiful woman like Sloane is much easier in a city like Rome. They officially began dating when they returned home to Chicago in the summer of 2012. Caitlin shared that seven great years of dating has turned into a lifetime of adventure. From the start, Caitlin was drawn to Ben's wit and charm. She knew with him she would never be bored. His warmth and approachability make him someone everyone wants to be around. As for Ben, when they first met, Caitlin immediately struck him as a genuinely nice and warm person. Ben shared that Caitlin's parents called her Sunny Baby because she was always smiling and had such a joy for life and people. Ben admits that that was as clear as day after the table incident. As their love for each other deepened over the years, Caitlin shared that Ben has shown her what an exceptional life partner and father he would prove to be. Each day they shared, Caitlin grew to love him more.
to present the new Mr. and Mrs. Levine. God bless them and God bless you. So let's all raise a glass to my little brother, Benny, and my new sister, Sloney. <laughs> I love you guys, I'm inspired by you guys, and I can't wait to see what comes next because I'm sure it'll be a wrinkly little English bulldog. L'chaim, cheers, love you. There is no better way to celebrate you two than on New Year's Eve, the start of a new year and decade, but more importantly, the start of the next chapter of your lives as the new Mr. and Mrs. Levine. Now that we've got the serious part of it done, we wish to recognize how important it is to work hard and play hard. And whenever possible, to dance the night away with your friends and family. So let's get this party started and create some memories that will last forever. So a toast to a long, creative marriage. Here we go.